Are you looking for tender, flavorful smoked pork chops with all the easy tips as well as a pro tip at the end? You've come to the right place. Hang on to the end for that pro tip. Before we get into today's recipe, if you're a fan of easy, delicious recipes that you can make yourself even as a beginner, then you've come to the right place because that's all we do and we upload three, four, and even five times a week. If that's interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to click that little bell so that when we upload new videos, they will appear on your YouTube homepage. All right, let's jump into today's recipe. The first thing you are going to need is a really good cut of pork chop. You're going to want to look for one that is bone in and about an inch thick. Then you're going to mix up your marinade. You're going to use three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, a third of a cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter cup of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of A1, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of whole seed mustard, one teaspoon of salt and pepper, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon cayenne, and you're gonna whisk those together. Look at that poor lady whisking there. <laughs> then you're gonna massage that into the meat and then cover it and refrigerate for up to 24 hours, but you wanna leave it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Make sure it's covered. Make sure all that meat is down in the juice. You can also put it in a Ziploc style bag. That's what I usually do. Once you've done all that, then you wanna prepare your smoker when it's time to eat. I like to use the Kingsford Original Charcoal. Don't get the kind that has um, starter in it. And you wanna get your smoking chips or chunks whichever you like here we are using um, a fire starter to start our smoker we like to use the little burner on the end of the grill that makes it light really quickly and you don't have any paper stuffed under there or anything there we are pouring the hot um, charcoals down into our smoker this is a pit barrel smoker on my future smoker recipes you won't see me using this style I'm changing smokers but this is what we're using this time um, the temperature that we're smoking at because of this type of smoker is going to be around 270 300 which is more than ideal smoking temperature at that temperature pork chops are going to be done in about 15 or 20 minutes um, if you are smoking, actually smoking, like really smoking, and you're doing it at a lower temperature, say 175, 185, which is a, a proper smoking temperature, then it's going to take much longer. But the goal is to get to an internal temperature of 165, and you do that by measuring with your thermometer. There's the thermometer my husband uses. Um, I like to use the thermo pen to measure temperature and you can find links for that in the um, information below this is not a thermo pen um, it's just the style he likes to use so you can see the temperature is going up there we put one probe down in the smoker so we can keep an idea of the ambient temperature and then we put another probe and you'll see a little video of me poking one a probe into the side of a piece of meat here in a moment. Um, we put one probe into the meat so that we can measure the temperature of the meat. This is just a picture of some meat grilling. <laughs> I lost all my video footage for um, the pork chop so I'm having to make do with some other video footage I have. There goes the probe and you, you want it to go right into the center of the thickness on your meat. Um, and really get it in there and uh, there's an explanation of the temperatures anyway I hope you'll join me at, with my other videos and here's the pro tip once you're finished cooking your pork chops if you have some bacon stick that on there and just let it sit until the coals get cool you won't regret it that is some of the best bacon you will ever ever eat all right don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell so that we show up on your youtube homepage. and i'll see you next time join me over at lovesanddishes.com hey this is wendy thanks so much for watching this video i hope you'll join sarah and i on our mother-daughter adventures and takeout 
You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.